All right. Yeah, I'm spending, I guess, part of my um, last full day off because tomorrow's kind of like a Sunday. Um, trying to figure out uh, like how I'm going to start weaving in um, the grand campaign into my uh, narrative, my mini game. And uh, so I was thinking, okay, you know what? Maybe I'll do uh, an assessment of what was going on historically in all the other fronts um, at the end of November 1914, just at the onset of winter kind of thing. And then that'll be the end of my mini game proper scenario. And then I can start weaving it in. Uh, and I'm going to do it incrementally. So it's going to be kind of like one map at a time because um, I need to find out what I can handle. Uh, you know, with other things that I'm doing in my life and um, still being able to, you know, uh, just have a good enjoyment of it and, um, yeah, not get overwhelmed because on the side note, you know, I uh, I want, I think I've mentioned before, uh, for me, like, the narrative is paramount. And so, you know, already with uh, the little things I'm thinking about doing with um, the, uh, the postcard... Um, correspondence and everything i've already picked uh, i don't know who it's going to be but it's going to be someone working for the southwest engineering battalion that were stationed with the third army and uh so i get to talk about them um near the boog river hex and uh maybe i was already thinking a bit of a backstory because i found out that uh, sometimes they were stripping people off from units this was later on in the war but uh, they were stripping people off uh off of uh, the front lines if they ne had any rail experience like because it was getting really bad um as the uh, as the war pro progressed uh, the infrastructure of the rail for both sides was just getting torn to shreds as you can imagine anyway so i'm pretending the backstory is is that this person kind of embellished their summer well you'll you'll see i'll do i'll make the little letter but it's already in my head a lot of it's in my head anyways he's going to embellish and kind of at the beginning of the war, you know, managed to kind of wiggle his way into the Southwest Engineering Battal uh, uh, Regiment, and uh, that's where he's going to be working, way the heck over here. So it'd be, uh, he would be right now in my world, uh, right around here, right there, because, yes, yeah, so he would be up to here uh, trying to fix the uh, rail. That's where he would be. In my little world. Anyways, let's get back to the grand campaign thing and trying to figure out how much I can handle. Uh, so when I was like, so I was like, okay, what map am I going to start working on, uh, like integrating into my grand campaign come December? And I was thinking, well, you know what? I think I'm going to, I would want to do the Serbia uh, one and see what was going on there. Because if things go the way they are, let's hold on. Let's wander on over to my other, to the real game. Um, if things continue going the way they are right now, the Austrians are in great shape keeping the Russians out of Galicia, which means there's not a lot of pressure for them to be sending troops up here, which means they can concentrate more of their energy towards Serbia. So I'm going to look at what was going on historically at that at this time and then start to integrate it in. But when I looked at the size of the maps and started thinking about all kinds of stuff, my mind went, holy Jesus, jumping, man. Are you ready for this? And because I, the first thing I want to start doing when I start integrating, uh, I actually want to call it weaving. I like it. I like that uh, feel because it really starts reminding me of the narrative. So when I wanted to start weaving in uh, the grand came grand campaign, um, oh, I, I I I want to. The first thing I really want to get into is the resources on how those are produced and so on and so forth. That's why I wanted to do an assessment of all those things. And I'm like, well, maybe I'm just going to use, I do want to put up the 70, uh, the 80% map, Der Weltkrieg map, for the live streams. However, I'm starting to realize that, um, I was talking with a fellow uh, YouTube person on the weekend, that it's getting to the point now with the live streams, it's, like I said, it's oh, there's there's always going to be a nice little spotlight or whatever, a nice little segment on Der Weltkrieg. But it's becoming more apparent that it's it's me um, finding out about World War One, like and sharing it with you guys, and hopefully, inter you know what I mean, interacting and saying, "Look, I'm not a historian or whatever. You know, I'm just trying to learn more I, that I can, and you know, and also uh, let's talk about World War One gaming." So that's where it's going, and if it gets to that point, and you know, with this map, it's going to be difficult for 
us to start talking about okay what was going on on the western uh you know on the west in the mediterranean on the western side of italy and so on and so forth there's gonna be lots of things we're missing here that we we need to talk about uh and and look at so i'm gonna have to replace this these maps with um 19 uh, you know uh, world war one appropriate maps i hope i can do that and if that's the case what i'm going to do is use this or the 80 percent scale maps that I have for my grand campaign for now and start allocating where the resources are and so on and so forth and be able to look at it from an abstracted way where I'll just have, yes, things will be like third army, second army, fourth army or whatever army and I'll do it that way and assign out and the resource points and so on and so forth and then look at the naval components and like I said, uh, weave things one at a time. It'll be one thread at a time uh, and go that way. That's the only way I can I can manage. Otherwise, I'm going to get overwhelmed. And yet again, like I said, I want to constantly get these things. Well, I'm sorry if you can uh, bang it on, but interwoven. So, I mean, I'm not when I do the live streams, they're not going to be about my mini game and, and whatnot and uh, all that stuff. But it, the stuff that I'll be talking about, obviously, is going to, you know, bounce into it. And when, you know, you get the idea. So that's what I think I'm going to do. I don't know. I, yeah, so I'm not going to go down the giant maps, uh, the other giant maps for now. Anyways, I may at some point, but I'm not going to, uh, except when I do an actual, uh, like I said, with the Italian front, I'll do a specific scenario for those guys. So that's it. I think that's it. Yeah. I'm happy. I'm uh, I'm liking the way it's going in my mind anyways and the, and the approach I'm taking. I am excited, though. I can tell you that much. I can't wait until I start comprehending what is going on, on how to allocate resources, like how to make them and all that stuff. And that's where I think the strategic things are going to start kicking in, where, I mean, right now, when I'm looking at it, when I start looking at it, think about this. You think the Russians would have wanted to have pulled away so quickly in my mini game if I was using... Um, uh, uh, you know, of all those resource allocation units. I mean, they nailed that area. They took three, t I mean, basically they were in control of that for about two turns, all, all that coal producing areas. I would have been, if they could have, you know, uh, solidified that spot. I mean, you know, that would have been help extremely helpful as far as I'm concerned. Anyways, okay, that's it. Hope you're having a good one. Bye.